Hey guys, so I know I normally do fishing reviews and that stuff, um, but my friend asked me to do a review on the new Mountain Dew, the mystery flavor 2020. I, uh, I did the last, last year I, uh, I did it with him and we figured out that it was a creamsicle popsicle and he told me to try this one and that's so something he said that he's read a bunch of blogs and everything like that and so it's not, we know it's not going to be candy corn and I said it's most likely not going to be Skittles so I went, got a case of it and I saw the artwork on it actually, it's a little voodoo but it's got like a Mountain Dew twist to it so it's like V-O-O-D-E-W so like voodoo um, it's a great can it's got a lot of graphics color, very Halloween like that's up for the limited edition 2020 mystery flavor. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better look at it. Um, so my friend said at first when you do open it and you smell it, which is I opened it a few minutes ago to taste a bit of it, definitely does smell like Skittles. And it's kind of got a Skittles taste to it, but you know what I'm thinking? I think it's Starburst. Let me pull it. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm definitely thinking Starburst. Let's well, see, that's a tough thing though, because Starburst and Skittles taste really alike. And he said he, it was on a blog that said that it was most likely not Skittles. I don't know who wrote the blog. I didn't see the blog personally myself, so I don't know if it's like an insider tip or not. Um, but it does does smell and taste a little bit like Skittles, but I kind of I think it smells like Starburst. Like the pink and the pink of the orange Starburst. One of the other. I've I've smelt this before in Starburst. I, I'm thinking Starburst. If I was to guess what the 2020 flavor of Mountain Dew Voodoo is, it's either going to be Skittles or Starburst. It's one or the other. Um, but it's definitely a delicious limited edition flavor. I, I like that Mountain Dew does this. It kind of like gets everybody like, oh, what could be the flavor? What could be the, the next coolest thing? And uh, I don't know if you guys ever poured this out before. I don't really think I have it. Yeah, I don't have a cup in here. I'm in my garage right now. Uh, you know, don't no, always have the quietest place in my house. That stuff with kids and homework and whatnot that they do. Crazy times going on, so they do like out from school and then everything like that. But you know that's how uh, that's how twenty twenty is right now. So I hope you guys all at home being safe. You know, doing the best you can. I know it's a little crazy out there. Uh, you know, I hope you guys are getting by with whatever you can get by with. And and reach out. You know, you you got friends out there that'll definitely help you out. But. If you have a little extra cash and go buy yourself one of these Mountain Dew Voodoo cans for 2020, I I guarantee you'll like it. If you like Skittles, you like Starbucks, you like sharp candy like that that has that like really vibrant flavor, you'll definitely like this can. That's uh, so the the colors the colors on the can remind me of more Starbucks than Skittles because Skittles is like really bright bright colors. Where Starburst is more of a, a dull color. Like none of those are like fluorescent popping. They kind of like that, like that flat matte color to them. Uh, that's kind of what this can's got going on and that stuff. I mean, the yellows, the reds, that stuff in it. Um, but it's definitely cool. I mean, it's got like the, 
like the Grim Reaper, the skull dangle, the peace sign. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what the flame is going to be. Hopefully, I know they premiere it. Uh, I don't know if it's at the end of October at some point. I think they premiere it. I know it's in October when they, I just don't remember the day that they're going to do it on. But do you guys have uh, any other suggestions of what you think this mystery flavor could be? Um, I know my, my kids tried a little bit of it and I stopped and they were. Uh, uh, one thought it was maybe like a fruit roll up kind of like flavorish, but they all agreed that it's definitely a candy. Um, well, I was thinking uh, the runs, you ever see those little banana runs, uh, like the hard candy? I was like, okay, okay, it could be that too. But uh, we all agreed that it definitely has a hint of skill to it. So, that's why I'm kind of pushing more towards Starburst. So the next closest thing to Skittles is like Starburst, you know. You want somebody like, hey, you, you could have had Skittles, what's your next candy be that's like Skittles? And I guarantee most people be like, oh, I'll give me some Starburst. So, we'll see. But uh, hey, go try it. Let me know what you guys think. You know, put a comment, put a like, subscribe if you want to. I, I do random videos every now and then. I'm not a heavy YouTuber. I don't get out there every day and make a video every day. I mean, at some point, I hope I will be. But right now, I'm just kind of like, I do what I can. My first couple of videos weren't the best. I uh, shot it with a crappy camera and uh, stuff. Um, I was just trying to get, you know, get some advice out there to people. But I'll definitely be doing some uh, actual ice fishing this year. We had no ice last year, which sucked. But I'll definitely get some ice fishing videos, hopefully out for you guys, and like how I do it, tips, what I do to my, my hand augers and that stuff. I usually cut them down. That uh, stuff, I set them up so I can put them on my drill. That uh, stuff, I'll show you that, what drill I use. It's nothing, nothing fancy, my OB drill. That uh, stuff, everybody's like, oh, that's a crappy drill. Uh, well, I mean, with one charge of battery on my OB drill, with a six inch auger, I usually get about 10 holes before the battery's dead. And it's worked fine for me. I, I usually drill through between seven to 12 inches of ice. I don't see that. I mean, it doesn't get that cold here. I think it's cold, but it's not like we're in, like, up in Maine or the top part of New Hampshire where, you know, you guys get, like, three feet of ice and whatnot. So, yeah, it's not like that here. But, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. And, uh, you know, good luck fishing and good luck figuring out the flavor.